right, so I just arrived at the windy Kapalua Airport. It was a wild ride getting here. If you didn't see that video, that's the one right before this. You can check that out on Mokulele Air Airlines. We're gonna head to the Montage Kapalua, and I'm gonna do a review for you. We'll check out the hotel, the room, the pools, the spa, everything there, and the restaurants. I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. A short 10 minute Uber ride from the Kapalua airport got me to the property. The Montage Kapalua is situated on the northwestern corner of the island, panoramic views of the Pacific Ocean. This resort is also a part of the larger Kapalua resort complex, which includes two championship golf courses, tennis courts, and other luxury accommodations. The Montage Kapalua is built on a property that was once home to the Kapalua Bay Hotel and opened in 2014. It's also worth noting that the Montage Kapalua has received dozens of awards and recognitions, too many to mention here. Once you arrive at the property, you really start to feel this separation from the outside world as you walk down the path. There is the gurgling koi ponds on either side and you can see the koi uh, in there swimming around. Wonderfully landscaped, it's just incredibly beautiful. And in the distance, you can see the ocean. As you head down, I passed some a wonderful orchid display and I sat right here in this chair and just gazed out at the beautiful ocean while they took my information, checked me in and provided me with some cold pineapple chunks. This is the way to be checked in at any hotel. So I was assigned a two bedroom oceanfront unit 4302 and when I walked into this room, wow, it was incredible. So I want to share my thoughts with you on this residence unit but before I do that, if you liked unbiased reviews of hotels here in Hawaii, Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it very much. So let's start with the views from the room from the patio and lanai area. So absolutely incredible. You can see right down to the ocean over all the pools, the landscaping, the coconut trees. It's just stellar. This lanai area is huge. There's multiple seating areas. It's not cramped. You could put a whole bedroom out there. You could easily fit, I would say, 10 to 15 people out there all enjoying cocktails and uh, snacks or whatever and you'd still have lots of room heading to the bedroom the bedroom is spacious it's nice it's well laid out not only was there a desk area but there's also an additional seating area which is where i'm sitting now multiple pillows i think about half the bed is filled with pillows so a perfect bedroom also has its own TV and of course direct access to the lanai as well. Moving on to the bathroom, a huge deep soaking tub, a walk-in shower. I just thought it was extra spacious. The double vanities and of course the bathroom in there along with the two robes made this an amazing space. I don't think you could be crowded with four people in this bathroom. Now the kitchen, I was amazed by the kitchen sub-zero appliances you've got a wine cooler a dishwasher a full uh, oven with a cooktop stove you have uh, gourmet coffee from the local region here on the west side of maui in addition to all the cutlery and plates and electronic cooking items that you would need to cook a gourmet meal over and over again in this unit of course, right next to it is the dining table, which seats, I think, six people. And it was quite large as well. Didn't feel small or cramped. The living room area, love the couch. Nice L-shaped couch with two extra seating areas. You could sit there, lots of room for people, for guests, or just to lay out. I could imagine taking naps there. So I'm wrapping up the room. Uh, here I'm gonna run down to the hideaway to have some dinner. So the hideaway is one of two restaurants on property. When I went down, I of course ordered a margarita. The bartender asked me if I wanted it lime forward. This was the first time I've been asked that question when ordering a margarita. So of course I went for it. And yes, it was definitely lime forward. Before the meal, they brought out some popcorn with futakaki and Mediterranean olives. It was a great way to start off. Then I ordered the shrimp cocktail martini. 
these shrimps were not shrimpy at all. These were monster shrimps and the cocktail sauce had a nice heat to it in a nice big ice bucket. Definitely the way you want your shrimp cocktail. Next thing I ordered was the Vietnamese sticky wings. Now I had these over at Morimoto Asia at the Alohilani on Oahu and these were a couple of levels above. They were seasoned perfectly, actually a light seasoning, not over sauced. And I also loved how the wings had a little bit of extra crispiness. After I ate these sticky wings, they brought out warm towels just like you would get first class on an airplane to wipe my hands and face. What a nice touch. I wrapped up things though with the dish of the evening, Ryan's Kimchi Ramen. The broth was dark, full of flavor, hearty and rich. They had fish cake in there, which is a favorite of mine, a boiled egg and a slightly crispy braised pork belly. This was a delicious bowl of ramen. The highlight though was the fresh noodles. I love noodles. I order them all the time. These were cooked perfectly and just pulled the whole dish together. They did have a nice little outdoor seating area with fire pits, definitely beautiful in the evening. I'm gonna drop the menu here so you guys can take a look. I'm tuckered out for the day, so I'm gonna pass out tomorrow. We're gonna check out the pools, the spa, and everything else on property. All right, I got my coffee. I slept like a rock last night. Let's go check out the rest of the property. So let's talk about the pools. Yes, the amazing pools on this property. This is probably uh, one of the nicest resort pool layouts I've seen anywhere in Hawaii. At the top, you have the infinity pool. This is the top level pool and it's adults only. This is what you've been seeing uh, from the view from my room and when I checked in in the lobby. All kinds of places to, to lounge. There's cabanas. I never saw it full. There's no need to rush down for this level pools early in the morning to grab a seat. There was more than enough for everyone. Never busy and always nice and quiet. Below that is the resort pool. This one got a little bit more busy. This one had the kids and it's closer to the beach. Throughout all of these pools though, whirlpools, waterfalls, bridges, and just beautiful landscaping that really made this an amazing pool layout on the property. There's also another pool section if you head down to the beach and head left towards Kapalua Bay. And this area is also a nice infinity pool with more lounge chairs that you can check out. It's a little bit hidden, but open to guests at the hotel. The Montage Kapalua also has a partner program with Cadillac. So they have on-site Cadillacs that they'll shuttle you to just about anywhere in the Kapalua resort area. It's by reservation only and it's not guaranteed. I would also check you can reserve Cadillacs to rent for, I believe it was up to four hours and you can take one out and test drive it around uh, wherever you wanna go. So I took advantage of that. I had one of the guys there pop me into one of their Cadillacs and we went up to Honolulu store while I was able to grab some snacks. If you're in the Kapalua area or you're just passing through, definitely check out Honolulu store. They had everything from little knickknacks and gifts to fresh fruit. They had packaged items. They were making sandwiches. They had sushi, local stuff, you name it. They had it in this store. It was well laid out. Everything looked fresh and clean and a nice little area that you could sit outside and look out on one of the championship golf courses there in Kapalua. Definitely recommend this place. After a quick bite to eat and hanging out at the golf course, I called for the shuttle and headed back to check out the spa. At over 30,000 square feet, the spa montage was impressive. Beautifully laid out. It's in a separate structure with separate parking. So if you're not staying at the Montage Kapalua and you just want to book a spa day, it's absolutely beautiful. Come in. They have water features area everywhere. Of course, all the fitness and um, different uh, services that you would expect at a world-class spa. I did get a chance to hang out in the lounge room before I left the next day. Definitely recommend. For dinner the second night, I went to Canaan Canoe. It's right below the main lobby on the ground floor. Wonderful views of the Pacific Ocean 
perfect for sunset and sunset views. This is the layout and how it looks, very open and spacious. They also have an outdoor area that's kind of seated with cushions and some little mini fireplaces. So a great little place to hang out in the evening. To start my meal, I started with the Montage Mai Tai. This Mai Tai was a bit too strong, but it went down smooth. So for you fufu drinkers out there, be forewarned. For the main course, I ordered the Kona Kampachi and Kauai Shrimp. This came with hapa rice, a green papaya salad, peanuts, and a green coconut curry on the side. The Kampachi skin was nice and crispy, light and flaky on the inside. This was prepared perfectly the choice sum was soggy and overcooked unfortunately but the kawaii shrimp was tender seasoned well and tasty this was my second shrimp dish during my stay that was on point dessert i ordered monet's pineapple upside down cake made with maui gold pineapple ube ice cream whipped cream and biscotti crumble the ube ice cream was amazing yum here's a quick shot of the menu you guys can pause this to take a look at the other offerings at canning canoe Without a doubt, the Montage Kapalua is world-class and deserves to be ranked among the best that Hawaii has to offer. I enjoyed sharing this review with you guys. If you enjoyed it, share it, like it, and of course, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the lobby.